What are you doing in my car? Shit. Hey, where are we going? How did you get in my car? What? Hey, you said I could sleep here, didn't you? And you said it was comfortable, too. No! Oh, you didn't say that. No, I didn't. Get out. This is crap, man. Come on! Get out! I'm lazy. Oh. Come on, man. Stop pulling. You're hurting me. You know what you can do, man? Eat it. You lied, man. You yeah, lied. yeah. That's great. F you, pal. F you, buddy. No reason for all this. We can handle this ourselves. It was an accident, an accident. It's a goddamn misunderstanding. Jill, would you tell them we can handle this ourselves, please? What the fuck are you looking at? Sure call. You give me the say so, he's gone. Hey, excuse me. Perhaps you didn't hear me. For Christ's sakes, Jill, open up your goddamn mouth. Could you just take him away? What? That's it. Good. Just for a little while, Trav is not too long. I mean, just until you cool down a little. You fucking coerced her into saying that. Serve her down, shit bag. All right, fine. Oh, you bitch. Stop! 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 Take him away already. Come on, Come on, son. Come on, get in there. Come on, get in there. Uh, Mrs. Lee? Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, don't be. If you can wait a minute, I'll get you your money. Is he giving you a hard time? No, not at all. You call me if you need anything. Huh. The money. No, don't. I understand. You won't be too old for a clown next year, will you? Will I, Mommy? No. Well, there it is, then. Same time next year, Mom? Sure. Thank you, Mr. Oh, Flappy. It's the illusion. It's for the kids. I almost forgot. They would have taken away my clown license if I let this one slip by. You wouldn't rat on me, though, would you? No. There you go. I need an extra piece of cake for good old Flappy. You need it more than I do. <laughs> Time ran. Twice in one day, fucking loser! Fuck you, bastard! Free refill, please. Hey, aren't you supposed to be winning the gig today? Yeah, well, it was canceled at the zero hour. No wonder you are so damn testy. What happened? Well, the abridged version goes something like this. Will you cut it out? <sighs> Husband pounds wife, wife screams, neighbor calls cops, cops come, busted, party's over. Raw deal. Well, you got the cash, then. She didn't pay you? Fuck that shit, man. Time is money, spousal abuse or not. I'd be in small claims court as we speak if I were you. <laughs> Humanitarian to the last. Yeah, never mind. I almost forgot to tell you the big news. My grandmother kicked me out. I've heard this before. She was pretty official about it this time. She had her lawyer send me a letter saying that she doesn't want me around anymore because I don't pay bills or get up before 12. She's this weird old timer's ethic. Nice. My grandmother can bite me anyway. I'll be flying solo soon. I got a job. Where? 
Two at the base head, hook me up at Sudden and stuff over the weekend. Watch yourself on that corporate ladder. Listen to this bull. Is that your limo I saw parked outside? Driving around in that little shit box. Hey, that shit box totes your ass to and fro. All I'm saying is you walk around with empty pockets like some poor ass little church mouse. You know you need the extra cash. Come work with me. Got your own job soon. No, thanks. That's how it all starts. Crappy job here, crappy job there. Next thing you know, you're 70 years old, living on the dole, wondering where your life went, and your best friend comes cable ready with a remote. What's beneath even you? What's up your ass, man? Nothing. Shine bumpers if you want. Nobody's stopping. I'm sure you do well by it. You're right. I should hinge my whole future on dancing around like a mongoloid on a bad acid trip for a bunch of spoiled little dickheads. You think what I do is stupid? All I'm saying is your life expectations as far as clowning or whatever are concerned are a little far-fetched. Dare I say, totally unrealistic. It's what I want to do. And I happen to believe that things are going to work out, and one day I'll be making a pretty good living at this. Cliché, cliché, but humor me. How long did it take to build Rome? Your problem is zero patience. Yeah, I can see how the rise and fall of Rome might parallel your own existence. I mean, you're barely surviving. The money you make, sporadic at best. How much your monthly take us to pay for that nursing home? $200, but I only pay half because Uncle Sam picks up the rest. And how much do you make? It depends. I usually can bring in maybe five, six hundred sometimes. So in other words, four. How the hell do you pay rent, car insurance, and eat on two or three hundred bucks a month? Well, Mojo knocks a couple of bucks off if I, you know, mow the lawn or do some maintenance. Plus, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't exactly pay insurance on that shit box as you're so fondly referred to. You know, I'm in a quandary about the rest of them. Not for nothing, but your mom. Just a bitch, man. Hey, hey! That's my mom! My mother had a hard life, all right? Her mother died when she was three, and her father expected her to take on the wifely duties. All oh, of them. God, spare me the tell. I've heard this before. Why should you be expected to atone for his shortcomings? Plus, you call her names all the time. I know, but she's still my mom. And everyone knows there's a world of difference of calling your own mother a bitch and someone else saying it. Sorry. She's such a bitch. <sighs> Mind. Hey, rumor has it that back seat's pretty comfortable. Get away. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is he, your boss? Are you his bitch? No. Excuse me, ladies. How rude. Can I get you anything else? No, not unless you have some magic cure all for my rheumatiz. Oh, I only wish. Hi, Mom. It's my nap time. Why don't you follow suit and make like that irritating little bitch? What are you talking about? I just got here. I'm talking about you being a constant source of embarrassment, a colossal disappointment. Oh, it's times like this I wish I'd had the courage to take that short trip down the back alley. Come on, Mom. I paid up some of the bills, so, so please, can we have a nice visit? Don't start with that. I am going to start. Not this room, if that's what you're
you want to call it, isn't provided by some divine entity. Oh, I've had it up to here with that smug bitch of a secretary reminding me daily that you're too goddamn stupid to remember that I have to pay to live here. It's not that I don't remember, it's no, just... No, don't interrupt me. Oh, God damn it! don't you dare contradict me. You show me the respect I deserve. If your father were alive, I'd have him slap you in your snotty little mouth. Here we go. What did you say? How dare you Come get on, over here? I'll slap your face myself. It. I said get your ass over I'm here. I'm not mad that you hit me, so forget it. I'll leave before that happens. Well, it wouldn't be the first time, would it? That's always the way it's been with you. Couldn't stand on your own two feet to defend yourself if your worthless life depended on it. Oh, run away, William. It's your answer to everything. But you don't have to stay. I know you don't want to come to see me in the first place. Yes, I do. I like to come and see you. I just wish you'd relax a little and not get so short-tempered with me. I get so lonely around here. Nobody talks to me. Nobody bothers with me at all. They all have their own little circles and don't want to know from anyone. They think they're better than me. Oh, come on, Mom. You know that's not true. God! So suddenly you're some kind of big man, huh? Oh, not so big that you can earn a decent living, let alone take care of your own mother. Oh, I am so happy that God showed grace enough to take your father away rather than to let him see the dismal failure you've become. Mom, the account is nearly paid up. You know what you are, William? A whole lot of nothing. I'm trying to get... Trying isn't going to get you through life, you half-wit. Action. Only action's going to get you through. I thought you would have learned that by now. If your father oh, were... Enough about him! Why do you have to canonize that son of a bitch? I know the way he was. I was there. I know what you went through. I'm sick of listening how fucking great he was. I I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Get out! It was out of line. I apologize. I said get the hell out! Oh, God! Oh, God, somebody! Get him out of here! Oh, I can't stand to look at you! Get the fuck out! Don't let him get away. You and me ran around Jersey style. Take it on, you smelly bitch. Hey, it's Clowney. Give me a dollar. Yeah, give him a dollar. Those boys give you some trouble, aren't they, Willie? Oh, Nothing I can't handle. Yeah, bunch of off next. Did you get my message? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I've lost a couple of jobs this past week. Uh, Jesus, Will, I, I need your help. I think somebody is stealing my utilities. Oh, yeah? Yeah. M maybe you overheard something? Uh, no, I haven't. But I'll let you know if I do, all right? I knew you would, Will. Recreational center counselor, no. Office manager, <laughs> hell no. No, 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 and no. Let me watch you fuck my wife? Her deliciously plump, you big and black with huge set. You supply the bathroom brownies, I sample them. Why settle for less when you can have three holes going? Call Caitlin for unforgettable bachelor party. Ah, oh, sick, sick people. Bachelor party.
Asian, man. This place is fucking posh. What the hell took you so long? Why is your hair wet? Because I took a shower. Good thing I did, too. Well, that's neither here nor there. Check this out. What's this? An epiphany. The single greatest idea I've ever had. What do you want? Hi, Shanshi. Order something. Oh, could I have a burger charbroiled uh, with an order of fries on the side and a Coke? looking at nothing um if i get a coffee black i'm buying man order something yeah. Yeah. what what's wrong you are invited come to my poop party people want to take a dump on you and you're gonna let them what you're sick i thought i knew you man <laughs> no that's where i got the idea from nobody's gonna crap in your face of course not, you idiot. Waitress, I changed my mind. Give me the same as him with two free refills. <sighs> Will you quit screwing around and listen? All right, picture this. It's the night before your wedding, and your friends have gotten together to throw you the traditional bachelor party. Now, you pretty much expect some booze and body behavior, and of course, the requisite books and bing. Standard, right? Dude, this guy will eat her boogers free for nothing. Well, that's where I come in. The groom-to-be is expecting some bimbo with tits from here till Tuesday and a gyrating lap dance. Instead, he gets a male clown with fishnets and garters and a bustier with my big hairy ass popping right in his face. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> Did you eat crack for breakfast? What the hell is the matter with you? It's a joke. Get it? Instead of the stripper, I show up to the party and shock the shit out of the groom. And you're confident there's a calling for that sort of spectacle? Well, no one's gonna be ripping my door off the hinges at first, but I'm telling you, word of mouth advertising. Uh, I could develop a, a cult following. Admit, you've never heard anything like this before. Yeah, you got me there. Everyone except the groom-to-be is in on the joke. I show up 20 minutes before the real entertainment, put on the show, then take off. It'll be funny as hell. Are you still gonna use the name Flappy? Because that will cause confusion with the kiddies. What do you think? Well, what's your stage name? You need a moniker of some sort. Well, I figured you can help me out with that. I know. How about Will, the naked and retarded clown? I'm not gonna be naked. Think of something else. Call a spade a spade. What you're proposing is vulgar. Vulgar? That has sort of a nice ring to it. That might work, actually. Work it. Well, here goes something. Hello, boys. Kiss him. Uh, oh, I I'm sorry. I must have the wrong place. Not if you're ready to get down. <laughs> Looks like you are. I got him! You and my dad, you're gonna do the dog. Frankie, back the hell off. He don't need to know that just yet. You don't come here until I give the say-so. This is my goddamn party. I run the show. Get your pajamas on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't even get to do anything. You promised he was gonna be pretty. He's fucking ugly. Close the lips, monkey balls. He's daddy's tree. Oh, shut up, Frankie. You're just trying to kiss up the You're guy. You're just fucking jealous, Gino, because daddy let me hit the clown. He likes me better. He doesn't like he me better. He can do it, Frankie. He told me. What do you think you're going for? This party ain't over by a long shot. There's a shitload of fun to be had before we call this a night. Help me. Get that, Gino. This ain't no fucking spectator sport. Thank you. 
Pretending I'm the clan. Frankie's daddy's little boy, and that's all there is to it. Frankie, you listen to your brother. He is the boss of you. No! Uh oh. What the fuck are you saying? Why don't you shut the fuck I'm up? I am gonna beat your ass. Dad! Yeah. Two stupid motherfuckers can't get along. I am never bringing you with me again. Is that what you want? Is it? No. You know it's sweet. Do you wanna miss out on your chance? Shut your mouth. I want you to watch him. Can you at least do that much? I can. Dad, he's getting away. Will somebody stop him? I could have stopped him. <laughs> Cave code for us. Where'd you boys put my dust pipe? In your shit bag? Oh, the shit bag. I almost forgot about the shit bag. Gino, get the camera. I want to make a record of this. If I'm not mistaken, this the fuckface here is Cherry. Daddy, he wanted on SPLP or SLP. I don't give a fat rat's ass, you stupid bastard. Just turn it on. <laughs> it is on. Shit, I didn't know. All right, shut the fuck up. We're going to start the show. All right, fuckface, what's your name? I asked you a question, sweet ass. Vulgar. V Vulgar the clown. Suck my daddy, you swine. You fuck. Uh, oh, daddy, he's ruining everything. Shut the fuck up, Gino, you Get fucking brain, pussy. You brain, Get your beak out of my brain, you asshole. Cut it out. I mean your real name, funny man. <laughs> Stop <laughs> laughing. Set it back up, you brown cocks. We'll just take that part out. All right, asshole. Same question. What the fuck is your name? William. Why are you doing this? Okay, William. Willie, Willie, Billy. Well, what is it that you do? Uh, I'm a party clown for kids. No, you're not. You're a cocksucker. You want me blowing it down your throat, don't you? No. Fucking liar. I know faggots like you. There's nothing like the feeling of some fucker sliding a shaft down your throat, is there? Could be some base head. What the fuck do you care? Probably suck down his infected man stuff. Smile and call it cherry pie. You probably get off on that shit, don't you, you sick fuck? No. Yes, you do. Come on, let me go. I don't even know who you are. My daddy's name is Edwina. Shut your hole, you fucking moron. You always do that. I, I won't say a word. I won't even try to press charges. Goddamn right you won't. He's afraid of dad. Okay. Should be afraid of dad. Dad's tough. Let me fuck his cock pouch. Not yet. No! Soon though. Soon you're gonna taste what's good. But first, I wanted to say the words. Say, I love the suck cock. All right, all right. I love suck cock. My name is William, and I love to suck cocks. My name is William, and I love to suck cocks. Tonight's the night. Please stop. What we have here is a failure to communicate. Some men, he just can't reach. Please, Edwina. Turn that thing off. What the fuck did you say to me? Um... T tonight's the night. No, before that, you said my name. I I'm sorry, I, I didn't know. All right, ass on the bed, now! If I have to tell you again, the wind is gonna be whistling Dixie through a hole in your face, you fuck. Me and you are going to bed together. That's a fact. I'm gonna make hate to you. Now go on, get your ass up there.
What do you think? We're gonna kiss? Get him on his fucking stomach. Quit holding me up, Gino. Come on. Get away from me. Time for the dog, Pops. Don't rush with Daddy. Gonna cock him hard. Damn right I am. And then you boys are gonna toss this out. Never had it so good, did ya? He never did. Real job, Now the shame. Daddy's making his move. <laughs> A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> you know, look at the shit bag. You're holding it, Dad. He was a good.
well. When's the last time you cleaned this place? Done. Shit, Will, what happened? Who did this? What, did somebody rob you? Was it one of those fucks outside? Was it one of them? All right, you sit there, right? You're gonna be fine. Just, where's your phone? I'm gonna call the cops. No, no. Don't call anyone. You couldn't, even if I let you. Why? Will, tell me what happened to you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just, just don't say a word, because once I tell you that's it, it's over, it's never mentioned again. Well, I don't think you should- I could give a shit about what you think at this precise moment. What I'm about to tell you is not to leave this room. It can't, and it won't. I'll deal with it in my own way, so please, no questions or suggestions about what I should do. As far as anyone else is concerned, I, I was down by Gravelly Point and got jumped by some guy with a limp and a 44 who pistol whipped my ass and took my wallet. All right? What choice do I have? This is what happened. I, I must have the wrong place. Not if you're ready to get down. I'm old. Let me fuck it. I'm just standing on the plan. I'll just stay and make it. What happened after that? I, I don't remember so hot. All I know is that I woke up this morning alive, and I'm still trying to decide whether I should be thankful for that or not. I don't believe this. What did the doctor say? You've gotta be kidding me. You didn't go to the hospital? I just wanted to be home. Oh God, somebody has to look at you. No questions, no suggestions. You agreed. One of those scumbags could have given you a disease. You have to go. You agree! God damn it, I know what I said. But we gotta find these guys. They're fucking sick, man. You could have AIDS well, think about that. You think I haven't? You think that wasn't the first thought that went through my mind? Fucking A right it was. But you know what? If one of those guys did have it, there's not a goddamn thing in the world I can do about it now, is there? Oh, well, come on. Will you shut the fuck up and let me deal with this? You were leaving them out there to do it to somebody else. Not my problem. It is your problem. Cops can track dog shit like these guys down. You can help. How do you think it would look? How would what look? A man, dressed as a perverted clown, shows up to a party for three men and then cries foul after being roughed up a bit? A bit? There is more to it than that. You are minimizing it, man. Do you want to know why? Because that's what a lawyer would do, that's why. And I'm not about to sit in front of a jury who thinks I'm some sort of degenerate defending my character. You are not being honest with yourself. God damn it! Will you stop reacting to the situation and think about it? They held me down and raped me. Exactly. That is why you should not let them walk. What you should Damn do it, is- Damn it, Sid! I don't want anyone to know! That's why. I don't want anyone to know. I just don't want anyone to know. I don't want anyone to know! All right, all right. It's okay. No one else, right? Me and you. Nobody else. Nobody else. I never saw it. I never meant for this to happen. Mrs. Affleck? Hey, this is Will Carlson, the party clown. Um, I know it's short notice, but I'm not gonna be able to make it. I'm sorry, something came up and... No, I can't. I, I can't. Oh, hi, Benny. <clears throat> uh, um, yes, yes, this is really flappy. Uh, no, it really is. 
I, uh, I'll be there, Benny. See you soon. Just listen, we wouldn't have to go through this. You think I'm fucking with you? Yeah, you talking about clearing this shit up? You got cops skulking around? Don't jerk me off, Captain! It doesn't have to be this way, Travis. That's the way it's gotta be! If I go out, I ain't going out alone! I don't mind taking a few of you fucks along with me! Travis, no one's been hurt. Walk away from this with a clean conscience. It'll be better for both of us. I'm better than you! Better than all of you! Talk to me, Travis. I need to know everything's okay in there. We're going to arrange a meeting with your wife. Nobody else, just her! You know I can't promise that, Travis. You think I'm some kind of asshole, Captain? You think I don't know I'm fucked? Fact is, you're fucked too! No matter what you think, you're not walking away from this a winner, no way! Travis, is there anything you'd like? Some sandwiches, coffee maybe? Something for Ashley? No, there's really only one thing on my mind. Captain, you have the power to grant me one request? Within reason, what do you want? You just had a mistake. <laughs> oh! deranged father, an innocent young girl. It could have ended up yet another statistic in the growing holocaust of violent domestic unrest that plagues this country. But a hometown hero got involved, or rather, a hometown clown. A clown who's got something to smile about, one eternally grateful little girl. Let's please welcome Will Carlson, better known as Flappy the Clown. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Will, what I'd like you to do now is to take us back. I want you to tell me what was going through your mind, what the catalyst, one might say, was that led you to confront this, this maniac. Well, I I've given this some thought over the past few days, and to be totally honest, uh, I still don't know. It was a little girl that you saved, wasn't it, Will? A little eight-year-old girl? Yeah. Then the fact that it was a child, perhaps that moved you in some way? Call me old-fashioned, but I guess I've always had sort of a soft spot in my heart for kids with guns pointed at their heads. <laughs> but seriously, Will. You could have easily have been killed. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've been told that, but hey, here I am. And here you are. Let's take a few questions from the audience. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Flappy. Hi. I, for one, am glad you've killed that worthless piece of trash. Yeah. I didn't kill him. I didn't kill him. 
you're no hero. Now, is there a ceiling on how much crap we as Americans have to tolerate from ass like this? <laughs> also, I'm, I was wondering if um, you would consider doing another kind of party? Um, well, I didn't quite catch the first part of that question, and as for the latter, well, I didn't get that either, but I, I still do parties for kids. Only humans can be heroes, right? We'll tell that to Walt Flanagan's dog. The gutsy pooch who pulled his screaming master from a burning comic book store. That story and other hometown heroes when we return. May I suggest a sandwich, sir? You may suggest nothing. Jeez. He's a fucking party clown. He's not Jimmy Hoffa. Now find him and get back to me. Jesus H. Christ, man. You still out here from last week? Well, if it isn't Mr. Funny Pants. It's not his fault. There's been a horrible wind shear all morning. Relax. Where have you been anyway? You're an hour late. Yeah, well, somebody's got to secure our positions at the top of the entertainment biz. Damn. You're not even fucking listening, dude. All right, Marty, what's on your mind? Well, Gil, how would you like to be responsible for programming one of the most popular kiddie shows of all time? Well, Marty, I'd love it. Kind of missed my window, though, wouldn't you say? I mean, Sesame Street's been on for quite some time now. I'm talking about now. I'm talking about a new show. Gil, I'm talking about Flappy. Who? He said Flappy, sir. I know what he said. Will you stand over there, please? Marty, you've got to tell me what you're talking about before I can give you any sort of appraisal. First off, it's not a what, Gil, okay? It's a who. And he is making a big splash, Orca style. It's the hero clown, man, the one that saved the little girl, you know, with the father and the guns and everything. Boring. Man, he's become a media darling. It's already transcended local network stuff. This guy has been on two nationwide tabloid shows, and he's scheduled for primetime tonight. And what did you say his name is again? Flappy. How can you not love that? Not loving it. Fine. No, it's all right, Gil. You just work on your game. Hey, let me tell you about this one time I brought this other kid's show to Gil's hey, hey, attention. Hey, 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 hey! We agreed never ever to bring that up again. Yeah. Not even in jest. Nobody knew that big fat purple bastard would have such staying power. Yeah, well, who is this flappy guy to us? Mm. Marty, people save kids every day of the week. I heard some fleet footed dog saved his master. You want to give him a TV show too? People love him, Gil. If you're a parent and you haven't secured him for your kid's birthday party, forget it. You're me. They hate you, man. This guy's gonna be big, man. Big. I can feel it. That prehistoric shitbag dude, he's scrappled. This flappy is prime fucking rib. You gotta strike while the iron's hot. All right. Listen to me, Marty. Well, we have got two months until our contracts are re-upped. Oh, if he's no, still listen, as hot then listen, as man, he is fine. now. I love you. You love all me. All right, all right, I all right, you, you pushy you bastard. You get this flappy guy on board yes no and i repeat no long-term deal standard contract only i'm not marrying some wet behind the ears rookie gil flappy's the word flappy's the word is the word marty you do heard. you mind flappy you had better have me golfing with some players in hawaii by year's end he will, sir. He will. The wedge! Wise choice, sir. <sighs> Look, I don't know who you're collecting for, but you can tell them that they can save a cell for me down in debtor's prison. Oh, Mr. Carlson. Hi. No, I'm Martin Ingram. J Ram Television. You know, out of the Highlands. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Come on in. Thank you. Oh, come in. You know how those bill collectors can be uh, wanting a payment on goods and services to nerve. Yeah, well, they can be trying. Um, well, let me cut right to the chase. Have you ever done any television before? Oh, a ton in the past few weeks. Oh, the um, the news bit, right? But I I'm talking about before that. Well, uh, 
Once I was eating at Ray's Rip Tip Grill, and this old dude smashed through the front window and killed this retarded kid. And they asked me for a comment on the 11 o'clock news. Yes, well, I... I meant, have you ever given any thought to hosting your own show? Oh, well, yeah, I was trying to set up something on cable access, but that airtime doesn't come cheap. Right, right, it can be kind of pricey. Well, but what I was thinking is, I'm, we, over at JRAM, we're extremely enthusiastic about you hosting your own show. Yeah, right. Okay, where's the camera? I mean, who are you, Alan Funt's evil twin? You're serious? Oh, that's a heart attack. I always wanted to say that. You'd be syndicated, which means basically every kid from Portland, Oregon to Portland, Maine would be watching your show, or more specifically you, the, the, the Flappy. I, I don't know what to think. Well, I, I wrote a contract along, and it's spelled out fairly clearly, actually, and, and I was hoping that maybe we could, um... Jeez. I'm rushing you, aren't I? God, not even thinking. I mean, this is all so sudden for you. I just walk in here. That's one way of putting it, and surreal might be another. Tell you what, why don't we do this like real people? Do you want to have dinner tonight? I mean, if you want, you, you can feel free to bring your agent along. If that'd make you more comfortable, it's fine with me. I don't exactly have an agent. Ooh, um, well, then I guess if we had to, we could wait. No! I mean, no. Why give those guys 10%? Um, it's just that my car, it's a bit on the fritz, and... Not a problem. We can send a car to pick you up, say seven. That would be great. Um, why though? I don't know if you're partial to public transportation, by all means, take the bus. No, no, no. I mean, why the show? I mean, why me? I know I helped a little girl. Helped her? Will, you saved her. People remember things like that. Have you ever heard of karma? Yeah. Hi, Mom. Visiting hours are long over. You have to leave. Uh, the secretary said I could drop by for a few minutes. I I'm sorry I haven't been by in a few days. I've been pretty busy. Oh, I saw you on the television. Oh, you, you did? Well, that's what I'm here to talk about. Of course, I was watching it in the community room. I don't have a television of my own like everyone else here. You will soon. I have some pretty good news. I'm sure. No, I, I do. Someone from one of the networks saw what I did and... It was a very stupid thing to do. Oh, some people think that. I know it might not have been one of the smartest moves I've ever done. I don't know as you've ever made a smart move in your old miserable existence. I'm sorry about what I said. It's just when you talk about him... I, I didn't mean it. It just... I got a little mad and... Can we forget it even happened and start fresh? I don't have to stand for that, you know. I, I know. Look, I said I'm sorry. I, I didn't come here to fight. What I came to tell you is that I got a job on television. Television? Well, they, they must have put you on as a maintenance man. You have no skills. What could you possibly be qualified for? I'm a clown. Just like I've always wanted to be. It finally worked out. For a while there, it was looking a little bleak, and I thought I might have to give it up, but I'm glad I didn't. Still with the clown business. You go nowhere with that. I've tried to drum some sense into that thick skull of yours for years, but... Mom, you're not listening. I have my own show. My own regular television show. It's going to be called Flappy's Funhouse. Oh, that's an absurd name. Well, they thought of the name, but I think it's going to be pretty good. It has some real positive messages and no violence. The idea is that it teaches and entertains at the same time. Oh, what? parent in their right mind would let their child watch such foolishness. It won't last. Even I can see that. Before long, you'll be right back where you started. Oh, seems you were born to be a bumbling idiot. What is so hard about being happy for me? Why can't you say anything nice? Why did I bother telling you? I just assume you didn't annoy me with such asinine fairy tales. Television. Do you want me to show you the contracts? I mean, what do you need? Written proof? Maven on the move. What you need to learn is what you do is nothing more than a hobby. It's a job, not a hobby. Oh, yes, well, you've overstayed your welcome. 
Go on, get out. Bring some good news back with you next time, not some bullshit about you having a real job. I'll believe you have a real job the day you can walk through that door and your hands aren't softer than a newborn's ass. Out, out, I don't want to hear it. You make me ill. Beer, we'll do it all again tomorrow with more fun and excitement on Flappy's Funhouse. Yeah! Now I just want to thank you and you and you for helping me make this first show a big success. Now I want you to do what Flappy did and stay in school and take care of yourself because you know what? You're the only you you've got. And I'm not clowning around. Mwah! You are natural, my friend. You realize that, don't you? A little flappy. Martin. Cinnamon, get the door. I mean, these kids, look at them. They just, uh, they love you. They do, I mean, don't they? Oh, absolutely. Now, I'm no psychic friend, but I'm willing to bet that within a year, you're going to be way more popular than It's Scotty and the, those powerful rangers. You want me to open it for you? Would you two shut up? I'm trying to watch a picture here. Shut up, you old fool. Shut up, old fool. Hey, I don't want her talking to me like that. Can I watch it now? You certainly can. What? I was watching something in case you didn't notice. Oh, I noticed. It's, it's just that I don't care. What it is, I have no rights. I pay the damn rent. Hey, I'll... watch your English around her. What does that say, volume eight? Have you been buying that crap and not telling me? Well, what is it? It's Flappy's Fun House. I can read. What's a Flappy? I like and love Flappy. <sighs> that tells me nothing. Do you realize Leave that? Leave her alone. Leave me alone. You should know because Flappy's better than her. All right. That's it. I'm going out with my boys. We're bowling tonight. League champs, I might add. Oh, I care. Hey, do they have social lives? I have never seen two grown men who'd rather hang out with their father constantly instead of going on dates or at least attempting to meet women. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe that's what we're doing. You ever consider that? Please, who in their right mind would be interested in you? I can't believe I was for that fleeting moment. Well, you know, that front door hasn't moved. Would you look at this? A clown. How unique. No one's ever thought of putting a clown on TV before. You know, you people are so easily taken. Especially you.
Gee, Ed, if I had known you were going to develop such an affinity for it, I would have signed you up for his fan club. I felt like I was robbing the guy. I half expected him to ask me for help trafficking black market babies to Mexico. I'd do it for 10 grand. Which way to the border? Oh, hey, I'm getting another call, but uh, don't forget we're having dinner with Phil at Raskin's tonight, so I'll give you a call around uh, 8 o'clock, all right? Talk to you then. Hello? Hello, fuckface. Who is this? Say it isn't so. You've forgotten me already. I had a feeling you weren't going to respect me in the morning. And after we were so... familiar. What the hell do you want? It's all coming back to you now, isn't it? I thought it might. What do I want? Hmm, now that's a good question. Immortality? Legendary status? Wait, I've got it. Fifty thousand dollars. For what? Count yourself fortunate your ass isn't running in jail right now. What I should have done was call the cops on you, you sick fuck. Who the fuck you think you're talking to, party boy? I'll show them the goddamn tape. I'll bury you, fuckface. What tape? You put on a pretty good performance that night. Took off the clown garments. Did it all. The show was good. Worth the money. I didn't put on any show and you goddamn well know it. What is your tape show? What you did to me? Go ahead. Shoot yourself in the foot by all means. You're trying to call my bluff. That's not all the tape shows, handsome. Of course it shows you getting down, but it seems that you like talking about what you do. I don't believe you. Yeah, well, that's fine. It's just that my boy Gino, if there's one thing he likes, it's fooling around with that video camera, making little movies, editing. I knew it. Give me my video. Now shut the fuck up and listen. You gotta want to work with me on this. If I show that tape to a few different people, the right people or the wrong people, depending on which way you look at it, old Flappy's in for a world of trouble. Would you say? What assurance do I have that this tape even exists? Once you get the money, then what? You get the tape. And this is the only one. How can I be certain another one will mysteriously pop up somewhere down the road? You can't be. Then why in God's name would I agree? Because you have no other choice, Mr. Fuckface. Stop calling me that! When? Tomorrow. I'm gonna call a phone at Snug in Cornwall. I suggest you be there and wait. I wanna know now. I'd like to know right now. But I have my eye on the most delicious young gentleman. Couldn't be more than seven. So supple at that age. So. Goodbye, fuckface! Just when you told me what happened that night, you didn't mention a video camera. Think hard. Are you sure you don't remember? I'm sure. I could barely remember anything the next day, let alone a year later. What are the chances you would hold on to something like that? He was just bullshitting you. That's the thing. I don't know. Of course, I'd like to believe he is, but... But I'm not sure. I don't think he is. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna pay him the money, Sid. What do you think I'm gonna do? Why? Why? Take a look around you, man. I worked way too hard to get where I am, and I'm not gonna let some piss man take it away from me. $50,000 is a lot of money, Will. It's a gamble. I just hope this is it after this. And then we can threaten him with extortion after paying him off the first time. That is fucking insane. Why should we give him anything after what he did? We aren't giving him anything. Fine. Then what you should do is use the money to, to hire somebody to storm his shitty house, beat his ass, get the videotape, and then we would be done with him. He's a crazy old fuck. How much of a threat can he be? Are these yours? Hmm. Hmm, you should never have cut school today, young man. Hmm, see what happens when you're truant? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Dad, he don't look so good. What did you do? Right now? Uh, right now. Let's go. Dad, Dad, he smells like shit again. <laughs> I do not. Stop. Gino, you plan on fucking it sometime today? Well, I was thinking. I mean, since he doesn't look so great, what if I just finger fuck him? Oh, God. <laughs> Gino's is scared of the little man's tiny hole. You wish, Gag. I'm gonna crack it right in the mouth. Do it. I wish you would, Fico Freak. Did you ever see that movie? This little guy, around his age, is walking to school and gets kidnapped. Next thing you know, some psychic sticks the nose where nose don't belong. In the end, the kid gets saved, lives to see the light of another day. Damn a clairvoyant ass anyway. No fortune teller's gonna come busting through that door to save your sweet little hide. I'll tell you what is gonna happen. You're gonna take my man-sized cock between those pretty little lips of yours, and then it's time to give up the ghost. I'm not sure you know what that means. It's pain, and it's darkness, forever. You're gonna die, you dainty little fuck. <laughs> this is how I kiss. And I'm gonna kiss you all over. If there's only a way to be certain. I knew we should have done something at the time. It's fucking ironic is what it is. A year ago we could have nailed his ass to the wall. Well, it's too late for shivers and critters. The problem I have to worry about now is finding a way of getting the money to him without any traces back to me. This is unreal. He's gonna get away with it. Clean it up. I need you too, genius. Go up and clean. Ooh, quit it, Frankie. Shit, this isn't a goddamn tea party. Feisty? Don't get wise with me, Mr. Fuckface. You're fucking with the bull now. You know where I'll stick those horns. Now, here's the fucking news. You're gonna be looking for a 64 Skylark. Damn, that was a good year. My Frankie had his first piece of dick in a car like that. Anyway, you pull up the back seat and put the case in. After that, you tell that old bastard Baron that's not quite what you wanted. Can he suggest something else? When he does, that's where you'll find your end of the deal. That yacht has years, boy. So don't try pulling any of your slick shit. Money, then the tape. Anything else would be a tragic fucking mistake. Capiche? Do not enter. That's what she read. Back it up. Skylock, you say? I got one, a 64. I gotta shoot straight shit here with your son. She's an ugly old whore, ain't much to look at. That's fine. Jojo, go down to the pharmacy and give me some more of that eye douche. You do it. Cha-cha. Try to keep these monkeys dancing. <laughs> What's with the case, you a stockbroker? No. Holy shit. You're not in the syndicate, are you? One of those Lacoste Nostra? You got a machine gun in there? Like rat, tat, 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 tat. No, I sell pools and ground pools. Uh, where's the car? You may as well be in the mob. The prices you charge ain't nothing but a shakedown anyway. I just sell them. I don't own the company. Yeah, I heard that before. Well, here she is. What do you think? Last one in the yard. At least in this yard. Yo, Pops, you got a problem with one of Tony's anthem markets? Tell him to hold his water. I'm here with a customer. 
Say go to hell and get your wrinkled ass on the phone. Kick the tires. Look it over. Do something. I'll be right back. So what do you think? You want me to give grandpa? Actually, I was hoping you could suggest something else. Listen, Mr. Poole, I got hundreds of cars out there. You gotta tell me what you're looking for. I'm not the question of the junkyard, Sid. You are Mr. Barron, right? I sure as shit ain't Jolly St. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> What I'm saying is he fucking ripped me off. There very well still could be a tape. We don't know. Why wouldn't he at least give you a copy just to let you know he has one? I, I think he's full of shit, man. It just doesn't make any sense. The fact that you think this guy deals with anything on a rational level speaks volumes how fucking stupid you can be. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have said that. Look, I know you're not used to me being the voice of reason, but you have to do something. I mean, you gave him a chance like you said you would, you didn't get the tape. And God knows you don't want to hear this, but you should go to the cops now. Let's get something straight here. Calling the cops is not an option. Not until when and if I decide it is. He won't go away by himself. I mean, you haven't given him a reason. I know. I'll, I'll be right back. Shitting with the common man? I thought they pulled a throne for your golden asshole. What the hell do you want? How about an autograph? Me and my boys, we got your money. Spent some already. We were talking over dinner on how you were a sweet boy. So beautiful before the consummation. So here's what's what. We want a party, an encore performance, the kind where you get fucked hard. Fuck this shit. Oh. Easy there, boy. I wouldn't recommend declining the invite. If I show that tape, you go back to being a little party whore. If you don't show up, you're gonna get fucked in more ways than one. I wanna taste you again. Get your hands off me! Ooh, that's how I like it. I'll be in touch, though, vulgar, to let you know about the party. Make sure those fat tits of yours are hanging out. If you don't follow my rules, people might see things that could get a little cornholed like yourself into some pretty hot water. I'm gonna fuck you again. for me in the bathroom. Shh. Did you call security? Oh, they're gone. Fuck. What did he say? He said... He said he wants us to kill him. Hello, yes. Hello, Ryan. Hey. Oh, yes, hey, man. Rest. You didn't see my shirt. Hi, man. You're wearing your shirt. You're wearing your shirt. Get back inside. It's good to see you, man. I've been down at a car wash in a while. Got that tall jigger Lamont I started working about a month ago. What do you want to say? Well, uh, he was a big jerk off claims I own 20 bucks. Fuck that shit, I said. That's when, wow, he hits me in the mouth. Like I said, he's pretty tall, so I think I'm going to stay away until he cools down some. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, Lamont, you know, he's, uh... Say, tall as J.J. Evans, but he's got the muscles of James Sr. You know, he walks around like he owns the place. Slapping people in the mouth, taking people's jumpsuit. Fucking hate it when the fuck's there. Anybody around? Oh my 
on the mask. Hey, boy. This is Larry. I think I'm changing it to something else, though, man. That name reminds me too much of Lamar. Oh, if only you were Lamar. Come on, come on. Were... Oh, sorry. Give me a hand over here. Can you believe I found this? I need a garage, man. Just waiting for pickup day. Well, really, between you and me, I found it in some guy's garage. I'm sure would have thought him out, though. What an idiot. These two don't have any bullets. That's a good idea. Oh. These two, they do have bullets. And they come with these things that go on the end. Silencers. Yeah, yeah, they make the gunshots, uh, stoner. My friend told me that. He said it's good, too, because they don't have any serial numbers. Do you need a No, no, I'm good. You feel like you're gonna throw up? I do. I mean, where'd you get this car? Who, I mean, whose is it? God, would you calm down? You're making me fucking nervous. I bought it for cash. It's, it's untraceable. One or two of us associates help me out a little. I can't believe so much of our faith is placed in an arch junkie. Well, we wouldn't have gotten this far if it weren't for him. Thank God for two, Art. I only want to be certain on one thing. I mean, are you still 100% on this? Yes. I told you that already. Now, I'm not going in there to have you pussy on me, am I? We have to be in and out. I know. The longer we stay, the better chance we have of getting caught. And if we get caught, we go to jail. And what those guys did to you last time will seem like a church social compared to what goes on in prison. You haven't even gotten a speeding ticket. How would you know? Did you ever see Cage Teat? It is the exact same thing, except totally different because you're with guys. Got some coffee change? No, I sure don't. Come on, Come on mister, just a quart. I won't break your bank. Fuck you, typist. My legs feel like rubber. Maybe they thought we called the cops. I mean, I doubt they're even in there. They're in there. I'm scared. I know, so am I. All right, just walk in, do what you have to do. Boom, boom, in and out. And it can't be any more dramatic than that. And I'm gonna be right behind you. I sure hope so. in here then. You must think your shit smell like a spring rain. Walk right by me like I wasn't a person. Next time I ask you a question, answer me. Got it? Yeah. It's mine now, motherfucker. What do we have here, huh? Look at you and all your finery. Isn't he easy on the ice, Frankie? Not really, Pop. Give me a hand, Buttercup. Let me lead you on a trip down memory lane. Do him like you did him last time, Daddy. Gino, last time, Daddy had him out on the bed. I know because I was there. No, you fucking weren't, Gino, you fucking liar. You're such an idiot. You know what I'm gonna do, Frankie? You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? Frankie, I'm gonna take you to court for slander. You're a law-breaking freak. What are you talking about, Gino? You, you are. You liar. are gonna sue you for every you're fucking thing you got. You're going to the home. You're, Gino, you're All going right, to shut up. You're scaring them.
don't you show us what you got hide under there? Gina, are you getting this? Yes, I'm not stupid. Shut that goddamn thing off! I think somebody was a little fucking fuzzy with the instructions. What the fuck were you thinking of when you got dressed? You're here for me tonight. Did you fucking forget that? Did that somehow slip by you? What are you, fucking brain damaged? Turn it on. Don't miss one goddamn second of this. High and hard, then we beat the living shit out of him. High and hard? No other way with a fuck like this. You treat him any other way... No, don't you, don't you, don't you. God. Is that the game we're playing? You trying to kill my boys, my flesh and blood? As it stands right now, you got the hardest night of your life ahead of you. I sure hope you watched the sun rise this morning, because it was your last chance. Suck it. Let me shoot him. Let me shoot him, Daddy. Let me fucking shoot him! How's it feel? You know what's coming, don't you? Don't fool with that thing, Dad. Tell him to put it down. Shut up, chicken shit. Cut it out! Daddy's gonna hurt somebody! Frankie, listen to your brother and put the damn gun away! Frankie! 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 You're gonna be alright! It's just a couple of stitches you need! Frankie! You listen to me! You listen to your dad! Why'd you do that to my brother? My brother, you fucking fuck it! Get up! Get, get the hell up! I fucked up, Lou. We're gonna get caught. The hell are we thinking? Stop it! Stop it! All right, you didn't fuck up. Yes, I did. You didn't fuck up, and we're not gonna get caught. You understand me? Now, nothing else matters except you have to get into the car and get out of here, all right? Now, get the hell out of here! What about you? I'll meet you back at the house. Now, go! Go! All right, you caught me. Now what are you gonna do? Shoot me? Go ahead, you piece of shit, do it! It doesn't matter anyway. You're fucking finished, fuckface. Finished! You're a fucking murderer now. You killed both my boys. You go to prison, because I got proof! You don't have it in you anyway. You're shaking. Even in this one, I can see it. You're scared. Just lie down and take it. I know you haven't got the guts. So do you. Oh. Like this, but this fuck. God damn you, fuck face.
Once again, injustice KO'd by Flappy of Flappy Funhouse fame and our special Girl Friday, Bella. Let's have a big round of applause. Yeah. And let's have even a bigger round of good nature booze for our purveyors of quite a bit of nastiness around Flappy's Funhouse, our criminal clown brigade. <laughs> Thanks, Bella. Now, that's all the time we have for today, kids. So until we meet next, remember, don't be like these guys. Stay in school and take care of yourselves. Because you know what? And I'm not clowning around. Mwah!